Hey guys, my name is Maggie and today I thought I'd bring you guys along to Mary Cancross Reserve. So it's a 55 hectare um, scenic reserve in the Sunshine Coast. They've got a couple of nice walks and there's also a discovery center. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and check out that. Right by the restaurant we spotted a carpet python. They're a commonly found snake in Australia. Don't be alarmed, they're pretty harmless as long as you don't bother them. They are secretive and camouflage well with olive brown skin and creamy blotches. Most of them only grow up to two and a half meters. They're beautiful creatures like this one who found a nice spot to nap in during the daytime in a cradle made out of elk horn ferns. <laughs> Ah, red tailed black cockatoo. That's the yellow tailed black cockatoo. Yeah. Kids come along and tap on it. Yeah. Like, like, go on holidays. Right. <laughs> Giant panda snail. There it is. Gary! To the left on the glass is the chrysalis of an orchard butterfly. During the caterpillar phase, they look like bird droppings and emit a foul smell for self defense. Let's go! We did the rainforest loop that goes for about 1.7 kilometers. It's a super easy walk, mostly flat, wheelchair friendly too, with compact ground. And there's plenty of these signs which explain the different tree species. So this scaly puckered bark, when crushed up, exudes a strong scent of celery, hence the name celery tree. It was a very tranquil walk and we could hear plenty of bird calls but couldn't see them up close and personal. Apparently you can spot a paradise rifle bird in this forest. You know that black bird with the metallic turquoise feather that does an impressive mating dance? The one that David Attenborough showcased. That's not it there, but it's somewhere here. It's so amazing to see ferns doing its thing high up in the canopy of trees. The downside is once that tree falls, it does too. And that's where a tree fell on the old boardwalk. Time to highlight some fungi, fungi. These are so cool. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but they look like an umbrella that's been inverted in a strong wind. That's a red legged Catamelon. They're a small mammal found in Australia and New Guinea, and they carry their joeys in their pouches. We managed to run in to a common tree snake, which is a non-venomous snake that has gorgeous greenish, yellowish, brownish, blackish color. And in a minute, you'll see the snake turn its head to look at us right there. <laughs> okay, back to cute patamelons. Red cedars were highly coveted to the early European settlers as red gold but now it's a protected species. It's hard to imagine, but these 40 to 60 meter tall trees are native and deciduous, so it loses all of its leaves during winter. This is a beautiful candle bark or eucalyptus rubida with a smooth powdery white cream gray bark and it sheds these long ribbons of old bark. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's fabulous. When we came back after the walk, our friend was still as snug as a bug. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.